this is a faster speed then I'm not so sure that this computer will be able to handle but it says up to 3200 megahertz most of the other RAMs that you can get max out at 2666 megahertz so what you'll need for this project is a very very tiny Phillips head screwdriver and I suggest having a little prying tool like this or maybe a credit card might work so first step is to flip the machine over you're gonna have six very very tiny screws one two three four five six right there and then you're gonna have two screws right here which as you can see on this piece of paper they're quite a bit longer so once you get all them screws out so the six of the very very small screws and then two longer ones are going to in there so once you have those screws out you're gonna want to get this lip right here lifted up and I'm not so sure that this prying tool is gonna be sharp enough because I have used it quite a few times alrighty so what you just seen out of the view because I just used a credit card and um, I just got right up underneath this corner right here so what you're gonna want to do is just work very gently around the entire laptop so what I'm doing is using a twisting motion I'm sticking it in and then doing that so you just rock it very very easily it does not take much Alright, so what you just seen is me work around. I started right here in this corner. And I worked up. I worked this way. This is the hardest part right here to get off. And I suggest you get everything broke loose. Lift up like that. And then this pops loose. So right up underneath this. You want to be really careful with this stuff because you want to put it back exactly how it was. So this is like a sticky. It's probably something to do with heat. So right here, this is what we're going to be replacing. This is where we install the 32 gigabytes of RAM. First, we got to remove this old 8 gigabyte stick. So the easiest way to do this is right here where the tip of my finger is there's this little metal prong and you can see that it overlaps on the RAM on both sides so what you want to do is pull back away from the card very gently and you can see that the RAM lifted up right there and it is like spring-loaded so it will want to lift up so what you want to do is right there in the sweet spot you can feel that it just releases it so right there seeing the card that's in as you can see it's Samsung this is the stock card that came with the computer and it does say right there 2666 and that's the megahertz or the speed and 8 gigabytes is the card size so right there and you can see one side's a little bit longer than this side, and you want to put that exactly back.
the way obviously it can't snap in this way so right here we want to be really careful with this just in case we did get some defective product and I want to be able to use this computer so Alrighty, so as soon as you open this, this is what these cards look like. HyperX Impact DDR4. It did come with a cool little sticker right there. So you want to be really careful with this. Because this is a very expensive and delicate piece right here. So let's get started. So as I was saying, one side's a little bit longer, one side's a little bit shorter. So it does have to go one way, which is right here. So what I'm going to do is get it right there in that sweet spot. So it's kind of got to be at an angle right there. And then you're going to want to push down. So whenever I push down right there, and unfortunately, I can't zoom in on this camera. These two little tabs did this. So I pushed straight down right here. And the two little tabs pushed out. And then they have little metal pieces. And they went back over. And that piece right there is locked in. So now what I'm going to do is grab the second HyperX Impact. And this is also 16 gigabytes. As you can see right there, 16 is the exact same way, which is up a little bit. You want to make sure you have really good contact, so you want to push it until the contacts. So basically, I've seen the contacts disappear inside this little channel. And then you want to do this one the same way. Push down very gently. And if it doesn't feel like it's wanting to go, then something's probably wrong. And you might have to use your little plastic tool to push these in or out. Everything worked perfect. You want to make sure and put this piece exactly how it was. So it does have a little sticky piece right here. It is still sticky because I didn't touch it with my fingers. So what this does is it looks like just a little piece to To direct the cooling is what it appears to be to me. So we'll put that exactly how it was. You can go ahead and snap your cover back on. And it's pretty much flush all the way around. And there you have it. Once again, this was Kingston brand HyperX Impact 32 gigabytes of RAM DDR4 at a speed of 3200 megahertz CL20. 260 pin installed so let's boot this thing up and that'll conclude this video the next video i'll work with it get the speeds down and hopefully be able to show you guys if this ram does what it says it's supposed to do in the full potential to the 3200 megahertz if not it'll ramp down to the 2,666 megahertz and if you're new to this channel please subscribe like this video if it helped you out and have a good rest of your day